G'day everyone, in this lesson we're going to learn how to make um, a sticky tape graphic using Adobe Photoshop, so much like you can see here, um, and you might like to use this uh, technique as part of your graphic design project or in a website or um, however you feel um, you may like to use this. So um, in order to make it, I'm just going to hide these layers here, actually I'll just delete them and I'll do, do this again for you, so I'm just going to trash those layers. All right. So, in order to make this, what we want to do is we want to grab the rectangle tool and we want to just draw out a rectangle roughly the size we want. Might zoom in a bit so we can see it a little bit better. And this dialog box, box should pop up. So, what you'll need to do is change the color and by clicking there and select this color mixer here, just move it out of the way so you can see. And we'll choose kind of like a, a beigey, kind of yellowy color to give it that kind of sticky tape look. And once that's done, close this. Um, now, what you'll need to do is you'll need to get um, a crumbled, crumpled paper texture off the internet. So what I've done is, is I've just gone to the Pexels royalty free website. I've typed in crumpled paper and you can do the same. And I've saved this image um, to my hard drive and then back in Photoshop. I've just gone to file and I've opened it on its own separate in its own separate document. Then what you'll need to do is in here go to edit and go to define pattern. This box will come up, give it a name. You can keep it something simple, crumpled paper, and click OK. Now I've already done this, so I won't click OK. I'll click cancel. Now back over to our main document. What we want to do is with our rectangle layer selected, let's go into the layer style effects button and let's go um, to pattern overlay and click the drop down menu here and you should see your pattern is, your crumpled paper pattern is here. Now, if you're unsure of what it is, just hover over it and hold the mouse still and it'll tell you its name. Okay, so that's the one we want. Click OK. Oh, wait, wait a minute, let me go back. I'll just double click to go back in there. Now, yours, your, just move this out of the way so that you can see your um, rectangle. Now, your blend mode will probably be set to normal, opacity 100% and scale will be set at about 100%. Now what we want to do here is we want to change the blend mode to multiply so that the um, paper texture blends with the color that we chose and just play around with the scale a little bit. You might make it smaller or bigger to find some different, so a good mix of darker and lighter creases within your uh, paper texture, um, that'll work for me, and we can also drop the opacity down slightly so that the creases are a bit less um, evident, so that it looks a bit more realistic. And once you're happy with it, click OK. Um, and there we have it. Now, one more thing to do is, what we want to do is we want to grab the lasso tool, and I'll zoom in with Command Plus, and we just want to draw a selection, like a jaggedy selection around the edge, join it up, and then hit delete on the keyboard. Now, it's not going to let me delete that yet because we need to rasterize the layer. To, um, and so in order to do that, just select the rectangle layer, right click it, and go to rasterize layer. And now hit delete on the keyboard, and that will um, delete that part of the shape. Command D will deselect and let's go and do the same thing on the other side. Hit delete, Command D to deselect and actually no one more thing. Let's put a little drop shadow on here. So go into your uh, layer styles button again, drop shadow and um, move it out of the way so you can see. I'm just using uh, just like a distance of one or two and a size of one or two there with no spread. I'm just going to leave the angle at 90 degrees just so it creates a bit of a sharp edge. Um, you don't want too much shadow because it looks like it's floating off the top of the page then. So one or two is good in this case. Click OK and zoom out and then you may get the move tool and you can move it and free transform it by holding command and pressing T. And so it looks like now you've got some sticky tape that is sticking this piece of paper down. Um, if I wanted more copies of that, I could hold Option and click and drag, and you can drag out as many copies of this sticky tape that you've created as you want. 